Today I'm going to be going through five low cap meme coins that have some insane potential. Meme coins always follow Bitcoin on the leg up and we're going to see some huge amount of potential for gains to be made in the meme coin space. In saying that, meme coins are probably the number one most riskiest asset class to invest in on the face of the planet. So getting your investments right can be very, very difficult. If you struggle with finding good meme coins, do not worry, you have clicked on the perfect video. Today I'm going to be going through five of them. But before we get into it, please remember meme coins are extremely volatile. This video is not financial advice. If you are not confident with playing meme coins simply click off the video and go somewhere else because this this stuff is extremely volatile you can make 20 30 40 50 x gains in a matter of a week or you can lose 99 percent of your money in a matter of minutes all right it's a matter of being smart and rational and taking your profits when you have a chance so make sure you please do your own research and only play if you are comfortable in the meme coin space with that being said i'm very excited to make this video guys and get this out there we have a huge amount to cover in this video let's get straight into it so the first coin we're going to be talking about in today's video is a coin that we've actually already ridden for a 20 x in the old patreon and guess what i want to do it again don't forget also all of my premium content and premium calls including meme coin calls and youtube calls uh, sorry utility calls are all free so all you got to do is join that discord and you get access to all of my calls before they come on these videos um, and some of these calls actually won't be in these videos so you just get access to all that completely for free just join that discord through the link in the description but yeah essentially baby pepe is looking very healthy at the moment we had a very strong push to the upside we had recent coverage from a big crypto community i think it had around uh, 17,000 subscribers on youtube so a big community there um, and this is going to really increase that organic growth of this project. What is Baby Pepe? It's a community takeover project. I'm very bullish on CTOs because we get a lot more trust when the community is behind the project. We know there's no developer tokens in play and it's going to be truly organic price action. Now, in saying that, you know, we just got to be careful because some of these meme coins, you know, floor and don't come back. But bang, we've just had a big push to the upside. We'll jump down on a smaller time frame and we can see we're kind of forming a bit of a wedge. Obviously, you know, we're going to have quite a few jeets in this project looking to get out, especially those that bought high and bought late and looking to get, you know, a bit more bang for their buck compared to just selling at the low. We'll go back to um, the 15 minute time frame, but basically, you know, we're going to see a lot of choppy price action while we have holders coming out and new holders coming in, which ultimately just has to happen in the crypto game. I mean, we've had a lot of downtrend over recently and there's going to be a lot more gains to come in the upside and people are just going to be taking their profits on the way up. We're going to have traders, we're going to have money market makers and everything that's just the gist of the game so very bullish on this moving forward we'll have a quick look on their twitter this is a community i do love to get amongst these guys are a great bunch of guys and girls i mean you know it's an excellent community these ctos are really good um like i said before you get a really strong communal sense behind these projects and these guys do hold um i mean i haven't been doing it recently but now obviously we're starting to get a bit more life in the market they are starting to do their spaces again which is really good getting the community involved and getting these real you know smaller time kols involved in these projects so very bullish on this moving forward let's get on to our second play the second coin we're going to be talking about today is a new one to the channel and this is inu all right i'm very bullish on this project this is the cool witty project i'll show you the website soon it's a very creative website however I'm not going to be betting on any of these large cap plays like Shiba Inu, like Dogecoin. There's no point. There's too many whales in there. You know, all these guys like this dude right here. I mean, bro has obviously bought probably $50 million in Shiba and is waiting for a few X's to dump on you all. So I don't want to be getting into these high cap memes because there's too many whales in them. But fighting off these, oh, sorry, not fighting, going off these, you know, original narratives, we tend to get a lot of sub-narratives and, you know, these creative plays coming into the market that really bring something new. One reason this project is so attractive to me at the current point in time is because of the price action. This is just making me, oh, I can't even say what it's making me because I probably get demonetized to be honest this price action is some of the best price action you can get in crypto i mean what we've had is our initial pump our initial dump consolidation phase consolidation phase getting the jeets out and then we have our enormous push creating a new all-time high and then we have an enormous dump all right people are going to be scared all right people are going to be getting out we have choppy price action for quite a bit of time and now we start slowly pushing to the upside of the range like we have done this takes quite a bit of time then we get to our all-time high chop around for a bit maybe we come back to the bottom side of the range and maybe push up boom that's how it goes 
all right? There is no friction above this all-time high. And once we get above these all-time highs on these strong plays, they run. I mean, we have 10% of our market cap flowing in and out over those last 24 hours, currently sitting at a $4 million market cap. But honestly, you know, these price actions, the price action on this play is just a price action I just cannot fade, all right? Because I've just played so many crypto meme coins and every time I see a chart like this, I just have to buy because if the fundamentals of the project are good and the price action is primed, that's an easy win, you know what I mean? So I thought I'd share this one with you guys. We'll jump into the website and the Twitter, which we actually have two websites for this project. Sorry, that uh, screen's a little bit cooked. Um, this is the first website, you know, very basic, but if we jump onto our second one, you can actually make your own uh, Inu uh, character, which is really cool. I mean, you can play around with any of these. These are all handcrafted and hand designed by the actual dev themselves. I mean, let's just make a quick cool run right now. Yeah, why not? May as well, eh? Uh, boom, boom, boom. I mean, all of a sudden, you know, you've made your own character. You can download your meme and then chuck it on your Instagram profile once you've made 100x games. So this is the coin I'm really liking. You know, it's a new approach. I haven't seen too many projects actually doing this, you know, allowing you to actually get immersed in the actual logo of the actual project. So it's really interesting to see. Jump on the Twitter and we have quite a few followers, which is growing. You know, starting slow. We start small with these followers, but we always increase with time. And we can see right here, this is literally the developer actually handcrafting some of these designs, which is awesome to see. We're getting a lot of engagement on these posts as well. So it's just telling me, hey, there's something big coming around the corner. And these projects that are witty, you know, and taking a different edge on our original projects are something that I love to see. That is in it. Let's get on to our next project. The third coin we're going to be talking about today is Hoppy. There's quite a few bullish components that are saying to me, hey, this is going to absolutely fly soon. We're going to go into the coin market cap and have a look at how much coverage this has in terms of centralized exchanges because I must say right now, there is quite a few and this is one of the reasons we're going to that very soon but one thing you may or may not have noticed about hoppy is that it is a little bit higher in market cap so it does have a little bit more work to do in order to reach a you know a much higher market cap so what we need for this to excel and go to the 250 to 500 million dollar market cap range in a short period of time is coverage we need the normal cryptocurrency investor not me and you you know who know how to play on chain who know how to you know send money from a to b we need the people who are only going to be using one centralized exchange to have access to these meme coins. This is why, you know, when something like Nero gets a Binance listing, it goes absolutely God candle parabolic mode straight to the moon because the amount of people that use Binance but don't actually know how to send money off Binance is probably nine out of 10 people at the current point in time. So when we get these exchange listings on these projects, we in the long term see these do very, very well. Jumping straight onto the coin market cap and having a look at our centralized exchange listings, we can see, you know, we've got a Mexi, Bing X. I'm sure you guys can read. We have excellent coverage. I mean, these are some of our main, you know, lower tier exchanges. Obviously, we haven't got like a Binance or, you know, a Crypto.com or a, you know, I don't have to say all the main centralized exchanges, you know what they are. But once, if we can get one of these down the track, it's going to be really good for this project. But even without that, you know, this is enough centralized exchange listings to send this to a very high market cap. Jumping onto the X, they're getting healthy engagement across the board with their posts. So the community has stayed around. I mean, I'm not surprised. This coin actually did not dump quite as much as I originally thought it, uh, it would. It's actually held the floor incredibly well. And that's why I'm very bullish on this because it shows the community is here to stay and is ready to back the project. And when this community is ready to grow, I guarantee you that price is going to go absolutely berserk. In terms of our certic auditing, I mean, not many meme coins actually get a certic audit. It's only the fundamentals that are lacking, but you know, I'm not really going to expect um, certic to give you know 100% rating to a meme coin. So in terms of our code community, market governance and operational resilience, it's very, very good. Ultimately, I think this project with time is going to do very well. I mean, it is competing with the Pepe narrative and this is very, closely aligned to Pepe. So I think we're going to see this actually kick off um, in the coming months to do a huge run. Not just saying like it's going to go in the next few weeks, but I think in the next few months, it could actually reach quite a high market cap. That is Hoppy. Let's get on to our third, sorry, fourth coin of the video. The fourth and fifth coin actually come as a pair. But before we get into that, make sure you join that Discord because this is an ecosystem I'm planning to make a few plays on coming up. Don't forget, we did this with ZK Sync. We absolutely hit the nail on the head. And these plays, you know, we've had them with TRX. We've had them with Tarn, we've had them with Base, we've had them with guys. There's so many opportunities coming up with these layer ones and layer two ecosystems. Make sure you join that Discord to get all the calls in these ecosystems. And uh, apart from that, let's get on to our final two plays. So before we get on to our lower cap fifth coin, I'm just going to go into Nero. Congratulations if you bought this. I must say, 
Well done. This has probably got another 10x left in the tank. I mean, with the Binance listing, I could see this quite easily going to a $3 billion market cap. I mean, Shiba went... Shiba went to a ridiculous market cap. I mean, that was worth more than probably 99.99% of most people on the planet and a lot of companies out there, which is just insane. So this has got a lot to run. So basically, if you don't know how the whole Doge, Shiba, Nero situation works, basically Dogecoin was the first cryptocurrency meme coin and the breed of that dog is a Shiba Inu. So this is how our Dogecoin and Shiba Inu essentially came to the market. Now, Doge's owner in real life, Kabosu, that is the name of Doge in real life, life recently bought a new Shiba Inu pet whose name was called Nero. So why does this make me think, all right, we're going to get a bit of a, you know, a bit of a sideways ecosystem, right? You know, going sideways in time like the land of the lost. We're going sideways with this narrative. We're going to get, you know, some interest in around this entire, you know, hype up around Nero. What is the next Nero? Now I'm going to be going into Sato, all right, who is Nero's mother now we've pretty much covered all basis areas in regards to nero in regards to doge in regards to shiba and why i'm betting on this coin which is currently sitting at a uh, 9.2 million dollar market cap and by the way nero is also oh sorry not also but is sitting at a 363 million dollar market cap um which has just been it's gone absolutely parabolic to say the least but sato right now is sitting at a nine million dollar market cap with i mean 11 11 and a half million dollars in volume over those last 24 hours i mean for the market cap to just be you know know beaten by the volume is just screaming bullish 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 in my head sure we had a huge run massive correction enormous correction over time so what does this mean i mean a lot of people up here are probably sold during this long sideways period and if they haven't they're going to be looking for an exit in this push up we can also see a key indicator that tells me this coin is going to run which is if you can't spot it the pickup in volume we can see right now the volume is through the roof and even though over those last 24 hours i mean we'll have a look at the comparison of our volume candles i mean we've had some huge huge days but we can see this massive push and people who have bought up here are obviously causing these massive wicks seeing as they're getting out of this project you know what i mean so it's going to be choppy for a little bit of time but most certainly you know i'm going to be expect something like you know we could possibly test down here i feel like this uh, clear of the all-time high right there will be enough um however we might feel this imbalance down here and then slowly start pushing up to eventually start up pushing hopefully up to our all-time high i don't know if we're going to go to our all-time high over the next few days but i mean if we go back to inu where is inu uh where is it if we go back here we can see these coins pick up traction quick sure this is a lot lower market cap but when we start running after a long period of consolidation, it just tends to go vertical sometimes. You know, we start to have really short swings. You know, swings might take one day, then they might take a few hours, um, and then we start getting these huge parabolic movements. And then within, you know, a two, three days, the, uh, the run is actually over. And then we come into another long consolidation period. I will be expecting something very similar with this coin. I feel like the narrative right now around Nero is just too hot for me to fade this coin. Sure, it is a bit of a higher market cap. However, you know, we saw Nero go from like a $20 million market cap to, uh, I mean, over a $300 million market cap within a matter of days after a Binance listing. I'm not saying it's going to get a Binance listing, all right? We could, but we just don't know at the current point in time. But I am going to be betting on the narrative, and I do think this narrative is going to stick around, especially while this coin just continues to go parabolic. I will be expecting some corrections, though. I mean, these people have just held, and they are going to be looking to take probably, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of profit soon. So if you're on this coin, I will be expecting a correction soon. I could be very wrong. This could just, you know, there's nothing stopping this coin from just... Pfft going absolutely vertical. I mean, it's probably going to look more something like that at the current point in time. That is how bullish it is. But yeah, you know, I am bullish on Sato. We'll jump onto the Twitter uh, and the website as well. But we can see very quickly growing. I mean, we're getting a lot of engagement, a huge amount of engagement on this project, which is very bullish for me. And also if we jump onto the website, it is very attractive. Um, and I think we get down to uh, buy Sato now. We actually get a nice little song. Actually, no, there's a buy page um, and you do get some nice music in there as well. But, you know, very attractive website for a man coin. Great community, great narrative. And I'm very bullish on this going forward. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Don't forget to join that Discord because, you know, we have these calls before these videos come out so you will be able to get all that for free patreon premium content is all free now and uh yeah i hope you guys are all doing well and i'll see you in the next one